Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, it's Monday. On Mondays, we do tier lists, and on Wednesdays, we wear pink. One time, she punched me in the face. It was awesome. We'll know what that clip is after it's edited in because this is live. Right now, the chat is all pink. Say hello, chat. Hi to YouTube and all the such. I am doing this as I am streaming here on Monday. I actually have my tiers set up based exactly on what we had set for our last tier list for Zacian because let's face it, not a lot has changed because let's face it, not a lot has changed. We have not had a balance patch, so unfortunately, a lot of things are kind of lining up where they were originally. I'm going to go through all the Pokemon briefly in this tier list, and I'm also going to add our newest addition, Gudra, to it, and then we can talk about where these Pokemon lie. I'll be taking a look at my chat, and I'm going to see if some people disagree. Maybe I'll move some things around, because let's face it, a few of these tiers are very, very close, and I could be persuaded that a Pokemon might be up or down a little bit. Let's start. Okay. Let's just talk about the state of our meta right now. Zacian is our god tier Pokemon. We only have one god tier Pokemon around here. We're not freaking Norse, okay? And I think that's not gonna change at all. So here we go. God tier Zacian is the meta that we are living in. The rest of our tiers, we have our S tier, the so much live tier, we're live. We have our A plus Brenner live tier. Brenner wanted this live and we're live. And these are A plus level Pokemon. S tier are Pokemon that are so good that uh, they kind of they make a team comp work just by having those Pokemon oftentimes or they just do something that's kind of broken inside the game that's what S tier feels like for me A plus tier are superstar Pokemon they're not broken but they're borderline and they're amazing we have our A tier that is live we're live we have our B tier I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to get into this live, obviously, this is a little more emotional, it's, it feels like people could, I don't know, it just, it's a lot. So we still have the beats here. Um, <laughs> ah! We have our C tier, the Cory. did you know this is live tier? You better, Cory. C tier are Pokemon that I think are pretty underwhelming in the game. And then we have our Decidueye Memorial tier, live. These are Pokemon that I really hope get buffs. Honestly, a lot of the C tier as well. I think the big difference between the D tier and the C tier for me is how these Pokemon compare to others within their role and what they do and uh, how they are outclassed by them. So, here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, C tier is getting worse, to be honest, says the chat. Yeah, you might be right. Um, we will also be putting Gudra on our list right here. And unlike last tier list, I didn't have Scyther on it because it was not split Scyther Scissor. So let's just go through and talk about all these Pokemon and I'll give an idea of if I'm gonna be moving some things. I don't know if we wanna start from the bottom or the top. Let's just start from the top. Uh, Slowbro, one of the best defenders in the game. I really don't think anything is changing on the Slowbro front. It is amazing. It's maybe A+, plus considering I actually think Trevenant beats it out a little bit in some ways. Trevenant is insane. They're so good. They're both so good. I mean, I don't... I I don't really know what you do with these Pokemon. Uh, they're, they're both insane top tier defenders. The nice thing is the game actually has two top tier defenders right now. So that's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Uh, whether you think it's Tree or you think it's Slowbro, they're both super broken. Uh, looking at Comfe here, Comfe, Comfy, Comfy, however you want to talk about this Pokemon, I think it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So what do you do with it? I don't know. There's really nothing you can do, right? I mean, it's just, it's so good right now. Our chat's finally updating. It's so good right now. It takes any Pokemon that is broken and it enables them to be more broken. And that's going to be something we have to deal with with Comfey for a long, long time. We're just going to be living in that horrible world <laughs> that is this awful, awful Pokemon. Uh, it's so good. And here's the problem. The big problem is it takes any Pokemon that is... Um, even borderline and moves it up and up. Basically, anything with Comfey attached to it moves up a tier or multiple, you know? That's really tough, really tough to deal with. Mew, Mew is an interesting one. 
Mew, I could maybe be persuaded that it's not S, but I just think we're not seeing as many people play it right now. I think Mew is still absolutely disgusting, especially with Slick Spoon. I think it's a weird one. It's a really weird one. I think you could argue that it's A+, and I couldn't really argue too hard against you, except you really can't KO this Pokemon, and it's skill ceiling, like, it does insanely well. I honestly think it's still an S-tier Pokemon for me. That's the only one that feels like it's possibly being bumped out of this list right now. Um, let's hop down to the bottom of our tier list. So we'll go from the top to the bottom really quick. Charizard, Zeraora, and Talonflame. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, Goldleaf Snivy has a comment about uh, Comfey that people are echoing. Comfey is the only Pokemon where there's a broken release, like the one we're living in right now with uh, Sword Dog. Comfey is, on is only a Pokemon when there's a broken release. Oh, when there's a broken release. That's a great, that's a great thought process. If there's not a crazy OP broken Pokemon, does Comfey live in the S tier? I don't know. But there are actually, there are four or five Pokemon that I think you can all say are broken enough with Comfey on it. Like, you could say Trevenant, Zacian, uh, Greninja is pretty broken, Venusaur, Tyranitar, Dodrio, Scyther. Like, because of that, I think it's gonna be, you know, insane for a while. How do I pronounce Snivy? Just like this. Is it Snivy? Oh, fair enough. Uh, my, my, uh, my Decidueye Memorial tier. I see people talking about moving Talon. Maybe. Okay, here's my only thought process. When you compare Talon to Absol, Gengar, Zororororororark, and Decidueye, and essentially Scyther, I think it gets beat by all of them. I think it gets beat by all of them. Um, but I do think it could. you could argue that it's C, but that being said, I think this Pokemon needs serious buffs. And for it to be, for me to move it out of this tier, I think it would need to not have serious buffs. In fact, I'm gonna move a Pokemon down into the Decidueye Memorial tier uh, here. Uh, to briefly talk about Charizard, Charizard got nerfed a while back. Again, none of these Pokemon, it's like, it's not, not that you can't win with them, but what are you gonna do with uh, Char or Zeraora compared to just like all the other ones? Um, the nerf to Char makes no sense. Please fix Char. I'm actually moving one down to our D tier here, and I have to move Scissor down. I'm sorry, but in this meta, specifically, against Zacian and things like that, Scissor is just rough. It is so rough. I mean, it is so rough in this meta. I, I don't know anything that, that plays worse in this meta, honestly. Zeraora is OP, says the chat. Well, I mean, we could, uh, you know, to each their own. Everyone gets their own opinion. Uh, I think there's no reality where this Pokemon is OP. I think this Pokemon is a carry, so every once in a while it carries, but I think Scissor is just getting destroyed. It's getting destroyed in this meta right now. And uh, a lot of that Zacian, like Zacian Comfy, you can't get next to Zacian with Scissor. You just get lit up completely. You're so useless in this meta, it's sad. But I really like that Pokemon. Um, Azumarill is tough. It might be B, but I don't really think there's a huge, like it might be top of C right here, but I don't know. It's, it's better than the rest of the Pokemon I'm looking at in the C tier. I will say that. I think Azu is better than what I'm looking at in the C tier right here. So maybe I move it up. But the water, yeah, the water pulse nerf Ryan's channel is calling it out. It, it hit it so hard. It hit it so hard. I'm trying to, I don't know. It's rough, guys. It's rough. Maybe it's closer to B. Maybe it's closer to, and yeah, with Zacian, Zacian just destroys it. Yeah, Ashley Luna says there's no world that's the same tier as Crustle. I could kind of agree. The only thing is tough. The tough thing is I like putting Pokemon that need buffs into my lower tiers because I think when a Pokemon needs a buff to be more viable, there's definitely a conversation there as to whether or not, you know, uh, that Pokemon should be classified higher because it does need some changes. Talonflame is bad. WTF you smoking. I'm just smoking on the truth, my guy. All right. I'll put... I'll put Azu actually into the bottom of my B tier right here. I need to now move my tier list around with the magic of movement. 
Do, 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 do. I, I think B is maybe fair, but again, I don't think this Pokemon is crushing it right now. I really don't. All right, moving on. Next Pokemon, who are we talking about? Dragapult. Uh, yeah, nothing's changed with Dragapult here. Definitely a uh, uh, B tier Pokemon. For our C tier, A9, Pika, they both fill a similar role. I realized I should talk about these. A9 and Pika both fill a similar role, which is uh, kind of a support attacker with stuns. I think both of them are fine, but a little underwhelming compared to other uh, attackers. Uh, I think Crustal is actually pretty decent. It's played horribly, but it still needs some buffs. I think it still needs some buffs. Uh, Dragapult, I just don't think it crushes right now in the game. I think it's pretty good. You can definitely, uh, you can carry with it, you know, but I don't think it's super impressive in anything that it does. It's it's good, not great. And that's what the B tier is. They're good, they're fine. Uh, Dragonite, I would say, is in a weird position. I think both work, actually. Uh, both builds actually work right now. But in general, I don't think Dragonite's really doing anything that impressive. Zarina actually, it might even be low. Like Zarina might be lower than it is right now. If it wasn't for the fact that you could play Zarina at such a high level, I would actually drop it down. The problem is it does need buffs, but you can still play Zarina at such an incredibly high level that I think it's fine. Zarina's A tier? <laughs> no way. Not in any world is Arena A tier. Arena is rough right now, especially into Zacian. Holy. Buzzwool is still Buzzwool. It, it actually is better, I think, than its win rate shows. I've said that a lot, but I, I really do think so. Um, from the chat, Zacian's not S anymore, it's A. Whoo! Uh, what? No way. Uh, no way. Um, Buzzwool, you think, should be A. Interesting. Zacian's A or S because of Gudra. What? We'll talk more. Decidueye. I think Decidueye... I, I have such a hard time ranking this Pokemon. So the big problem with Decidueye is it's good and it's so it's the most counterable thing in the game. So it swings wildly, right? It doesn't feel like other Pokemon where it's like, if you're good with Decidueye, man, you're so good. But it's so weak. It's the weakest thing in the game. Uh, so I'm just, I have to leave it be. I have to. Absol, I think is fine. I'm gonna set him right here next to Gengar. I think they're both doing fine. This meta isn't good for them, but you don't really, uh, you don't really need them altered much. You need other things altered. So nerfs to other Pokemon, nerfs to crowd control, things like that will help these Pokemon, but you don't need these buffed. Because then you just get into a state where you're only, all you're doing is buffing everything and just the power creep becomes absolutely insane. So I think they're both fine, but they're into a tough meta. Wiggly is... Wiggly is fine. Wiggly's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, let's see. It probably needs a buff, too. Absol's completely outclassed, says Mac Lunky. You might be right, Mac. You know? It's, uh, it's tough. It's, it's a really tough one in the meta right now. Let's see. The big problem is the meta in general. You know, if you look at win rates of Pokemon inside this game, it's all based on a few Pokemon. Like everything in the game is based on just a few Pokemon. So it's really tough. It's a tough meta. Garchomp, Aegislash, both good. I don't think they fight well into Zacian necessarily, like any Zacian Comfy. However, you put a Comfy on an Aegislash, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, let's see. A tier, uh, Zororororark, doing pretty well. It's a speedster. It's, um, it's one of the best speedsters in the game, which is cool. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's really squishy and it has some trouble late, but still a lot of damage. Works pretty well. Um, Chomp is decent with Comfy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Absol C tier in this meta says Halden. You know what? You might be right. This meta is really hard for it. Uh, Sylveon. I think Sylveon's great. I think A is really fair. It's good. It's not broken at all, but it's really good. I like Sylveon in general. I think it's super solid Pokemon. Uh, it should have been called the dog tier. The crazy thing is, it always was. 
Uh, we have our Duraludon here. I think Duraludon's super slept on. Actually, not even the worst in Dezacian because you can create some distance with it. Not the best either, but Duraludon's just a slept on Pokemon in general. People just bounce off it for some reason, but it's still good. Anything that can rip and secure objectives like that with the kind of range it has and the insane amount of attack it has, it's still good. Green, pretty good. Not amazing in Dezacian. Nothing really is. Greedent has a decent amount of tankiness to deal with it, though. I think Greedent's actually doing okay. Uh, we've got Sableye. And Sableye, I was, I've been saying Sableye is A tier for a long time. But to be fair, its win rate never drops. And I'll, I'll hear what the chat has to say. But I think I should move Sableye up to our A plus tier. I think it's that good. I just think it just does It wins a lot. It wins a lot. Um, so I'll take a look at our chat here and see what you all think. But I think I might move Sableye a little higher. It's insane amounts of crowd control. You think Sableye's A+. Plus? Devastating in solo. Yes, you agree. Yeah, it meshes with the carries well. Yeah. Um, if Sableye is A, then Espeon has to be S. We could talk about Espeon in a bit. All right, we'll put it up to A+. Plus. That's I do think Sableye is kind of in that position right now. Um, which, you know... Can't say we love Sableye being in that position, but fair enough. Here we are. Uh, let's see, where were we? Gardevoir, I think, is doing really well. I think A or A-plus is fair. It's a really good Pokemon. It doesn't feel broken at all. It's really good. Guard could be A-plus, but it's really good. Uh, Snorlax, great defender. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's awesome. Doing well. It's nice. Not even super bad in Dezacian either, because you can push it around. Uh, let's see. Uh, a lot of people saying Gardevoir is A+. plus. Decidueye A. I don't know, that's so hard. That's so hard. You think Lax is A+. plus? Interesting. Lax is A+. plus? Maybe. I'll think about it. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, Lucario. A. Solid Pokemon. Doesn't do even too bad in Dezacian or anything like that. So I think, I think Lucario is still good. A, I think, is fair. Mime. A, I think, is very, very fair. For sure. Um... Let's see. Lucario is B due to Sword Doggo. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think Lucario's... I think A is very fair still. Uh, let's see. Machamp. Machampion. Uh, I think A is also fair. Good Pokemon. Mime doing well. Good Pokemon. Not broken like it was. Cram? I actually think I'm going to move Cram. I think it's A+. Plus. Uh, I think Cram is... I hate to... Gosh, I hate to do this. Look, they don't base any balance on, in this game based on my tier list. There's absolutely no reality where that would happen. But I have to say, I think Cram with Spoon is looking freaking great. So, I, I have to say it's A+. I really think so. I think Cram's doing well. Cinderace, still good. Good ranged attacker. Nothing crazy. Nerf Cram, don't you dare. Don't! Don't! <laughs> Grant, uh, Cinderace, I think, is doing pretty well inside this meta. Spoon is really good. I think Spoon is really good. Uh, let's move up into our A-plus tier. So we've got Cram. That's where Cram's going to stay. We've got Sableye. Sableye just made it. Welcome to the A-plus tier. Um, uh, Sa Sylveon may need a lower Unite cooldown, but it's still really good. Clefable, I think, is still crazy good. The only problem with Clefable, Blissey, and Eldegoss, I'll just put all these right next to each other really quick, uh, is that they're not Comfey in more situations, but they're still great. They're still great. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just awesome. It's tough because you're comparing it, you know, you have the one that's like dominating everything, but I think they're all still great Pokemon. Let's take a look here. Uh, Hoopa still also, Hoopa's awesome. Hoopa's so good. Hoopa's crushing it right now, so they're awesome. Uh, a plus, both of the bears. I actually, so if we're talking about level five, I think you put rapid strike bear into the god tier. I think it's unbelievable, but it does fall off as the match goes on. And I think dark bear is still amazing. However, not as great into Zashian. Like both of these have trouble running into Zashian, depending on if, if the Zashian doesn't know what they're doing, of course not. But both of these are melee Pokemon. They have to be right up in your face and they have problem into Zashian. So uh, there we go. Let's see, Glaceon still doing really well. And we have uh, Espeon, Espeon. Uh, by the way, thank you so much, Goop Troop, for becoming a member. Welcome to the B tier. I love you. Uh, I think I think Espeon has earned its place up in the S tier. I do think it's insane. Here's the thing. Espeon is... It's... 
at the best place it's ever been, but, but it's counterable. And that's the thing that I think makes it super strong, but also not broken. So the question is, do you take that and do you put it A plus or do you keep it S? But right now, given how good it is, uh, I would like to either put it S or A plus. The problem is it's not broken. And as I talked about earlier, I, I think you got to have things up here that are just fundamentally kind of broken. Boy, it's really close. Hmm. It's really, really close. Yeah, you do need to land your moves. Yeah. I'm not sure where to put it. It's either A plus or S. I think based on how I talked about my list, I still think it's probably A plus. Maybe the top of A plus is the fairest for me. Maybe it's the best A plus Pokemon. I'm, I'll think about it. I will think about it. I'm thinking about Espeon. Maybe it's S, but I don't know if it's that broken. Okay, moving on. Delphox, amazing, insane. Such a good Pokemon. Flame Charge and either Mystical Fire or uh, Fire Blast, but I think Mystical Fire still has it. I think the Unite move on Delphox is too good. I just think it's too good. Um, Dodrio, oh, uh, we've got Scyther here. Scyther I think is A+. I just think people haven't been playing it in a long time. It's not the best in Tazashian is its only problem, but here's the thing. Neither is Dodrio, and I still think Dodrio is really good. I will say Gudra actually hurts Dodrio. I feel like every release, Comfe hurts Dodrio. Zacian hurts Dodrio. Gudra hurts Dodrio. So I think all of those things are actually really tough uh, for Dodrio. Same thing with Scyther a little bit too, but these Pokemon are both amazing. So yeah, Umbreon is going to destroy Dodrio. It's going to be very sad. Um, but I still think both these Pokemon are really good. It's hard to say that they're not, you know, that good. They're amazing. Uh, let's see. Every Everything is mean to Dodrio. It's really true. Anything with CC hurts it. Yeah. Even Gudra. Gudra's new slime, it really hurts it. You're so slow. Uh, Mamoswine. This is this breaks my heart a bit, but I do have to drop Mamoswine down a tier. I'll talk about Tyranitar here in a second. I just saw someone mention Mamo in the chat. Mamo, its win rate is dropping like a rock, and I really think the thing that's happening with Mamo is everyone is playing one of these other two defenders. I still think Mamo is very good, but I don't think Mamo plays very well into the comfy collar hyper carry as you'd want it to. It's not bad, but I'm going to drop it down to the A tier. It's a Pokemon that I think has been hurt actually decently well, although it's still good. Of course, Dodrio with three hats is God tier. Of course, Dodrio with three hats is God tier, as I see in the chat. You are correct. That is a God tier Pokemon. When it has three hats, it's broken. Let's see. Uh, Tyranitar, I still think is A+. It's actually not even that bad in Dezacian. I, I still think it's good. Um, yeah, it's really good. Has a slow early game, but it's one of the craziest hyper carries inside Pokemon Unite. Still very, very good. They really haven't hurt it too much. I think A+, is very fair. Blastoise, I still think it's this good. I still think it's A+. It's really great. It's a different kind of defender, but I think it's still amazing. It's, no one's really great into Zacian, but I really think that Blastoise is a super solid defender inside this game. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's great. Some, some people are saying it might be S tier. I think it's really great. Uh, Greninja is borderline for me. It's borderline A plus A. It's still really good. Greninja is still really good. And it's a hyper carry. And I think it beats Cinderace kind of at its own game in a lot of ways. But at the same time, it can, it can really get kind of shut down. I'm going to keep it here in the A plus tier. But it's, it's borderline. I don't think B is very fair. I think Greninja is very good. Greninja's A. A lot of people think it lower than that. Some people think it's S. Some people think it's S. I think it's, I think A plus is fair. Um, I think Venusaur still, Comfe enables Venusaur to kind of be insane. And that's just something to consider is this Pokemon is enabled to be crazy. So I think Venusaur stays A plus for me. It's tough. It's tough because it could be a. It's it. You know, it's 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 in line with Greninja for me. That's what it is. I think it's really good, but 
No, but it's got the movement too. Honestly, because of the movement, I think it stays A. A plus. I think it stays A plus. It really does. You think Frog is high A plus? Yeah, I think Venu is doing really well. You think it's better than Greninja? I think both of these are different. I think Venusaur actually performs pretty well in this meta right now. It's not too bad. Um, and then Espeon, I think I'm going to keep it A+, because it's just not fundamentally broken to me. The rest of these Pokemon feel broken. Tree, we all, we all know about Tree. Slowbro is unkaoable, has one of the best Unite moves in the game. Comfey is ridiculous. And Mew is a mage that I still think... You might even find some more value out of other mages at different points, but you just can't deal with this Pokemon. You just can't, it's, you can't KO it. You can't stop it. It attacks at insane range. It could switch its moves. It does absurd damage. I think Mew is still S tier. I really do. I think players have kind of hopped off it a bit, but I think it's still S. So now the question is, where is Gudra? Where do we put our gooey boy? That's the big question, chat. I'd love to hear some of your answers as I see you typing here. Um, I think I know where Gudra goes for me, but I just kind of like to see where everybody's at. We've got A tier, Gudra B, A plus, A, A plus, A. Gudra's A, A plus, A or A plus. We got a lot of people, God tier. We got the real gamer God saying honestly B. We've got some A's, lots of A's in the chat. Lots of A's in the chat, interesting. I gotta say, uh, so it's tough. Um, I really like Gudra. I don't know if I can put it higher than B. It's It kind of feels like it's an A minus to me. You know, as we were talking earlier about A minuses. I feel like Gudra feels like a very solid Pokemon. It feels like a solid mid tier Pokemon. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, it's not bad. It, I could see people saying bottom of A tier. That seems relatively fair, actually. Like bottom of A. Because it's it's pretty dang solid. It's either, and this is like, we don't have a shade for this. It's either B plus or A minus. The chat's exactly right. It's either B plus or A minus. It's actually good. Like it's good, dang good. Um, but it's not it doesn't at all get pushed any higher than this. Any higher. The highest it goes is a really A minus. I can't believe we're doing this. We're going to do this in real time. A minus live? It happened, everybody. We were wondering if it was going to happen, and it happened. We have A minus live. Live in studio for the first time since... The last tier list whenever we had it we have a minus live it's at least better than mamo you're actually probably not wrong they probably actually both sit in this tier in fact we could maybe even move something else down to the a minus tier or something up like you could you could literally say that something like decidui possibly is a minus and sword is a minus like this is pretty fair to put these pokemon in this tier a minus live we actually did it, everybody. We made it all the way through this tier list and we put it in A minus live. So that's where Gudra is going to be the A minus tier. So there you go. Uh, I think I think Mamo actually might actually outpass Gudra in some ways. Gudra's Unite move is better, but Mamo's early is way better. They're both they're both A minus live. They're both A minus live. Perhaps Serena as well. Perhaps Serena as well. Can't wait for Zacian to become A minus. There's our tier list, everyone. I can't wait for Zacian to get nerfed as well. And now you all get to be here live for this part. Boo 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 do 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 moving things around. Boo 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 enjoying being weird. Once again, Comfey is just not doing it inside the game. We really need some buffs to this Pokemon. It can't, it can't do anything if you're alone. It is a disaster of a Pokemon. So please, I am begging you, developers of this game, please 
Buff Comfe, it's terrible. Machamp, of course, Machamp's Unite move is the best in the game. It's not even close. That's why it is the dog tier Pokemon of the week. Uh, obviously, this named after a uh, dog that used to be up here, which is no longer. Uh, and that's Zacian. Basically, Zacian's still really good. It's here in the A minus tier. Everyone figured out how to counter this Pokemon. It wasn't too hard. Just stay away from it for a second. Just kite it, as they say, and you can destroy this Pokemon. Of course, Scissor absolutely crushing it right now. Almost S tier. And then Gudra releasing, uh, excuse me, almost uh, dog tier. And then Gudra releasing is without question S tier. Broken Pokemon. You can't even kite it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Yeehaw to you and yours. I love you. Thank you for all being here live. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.